What's up, everybody? It's Cashflow Nexus back again, giving you the latest and greatest updates on the financial market. And today, we will be taking a closer look at XRP. And if you are new to this channel, you like what you see in here and feel compelled to sub, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications on future content. That being said, today's list, we have scripture. Subscriber shout out at number two. Three, Japan runs on XRP. Four, top performing cryptocurrencies of 2019. Five, digital asset race theory. And six, XRP price analysis. So today's scripture coming out of Matthew chapter 6 and 34. Verse 34. So take therefore no thought for the morrow. For the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. So, one thing that I've always talked about is, in, in my personal life anyway, like, every day, I'm not gonna lie, every day, I have thoughts, I'm like, man, is this really worth it? Man, what's my future gonna be like? Man, you know, just different stuff. And... I'm always a positive person and I said, well, Lord, you know, one thing I definitely need is faith for today. We need today faith. And to, what, what I mean by today faith is not worrying about anything else but the day that you're living. Because tomorrow you never know what's going to happen. You could be here today and gone tomorrow. So to have faith for today and believe in what is meant for you in that day all right that's why i said today faith that's why the bible just said don't think about tomorrow because tomorrow has its own worries pretty much is what it's telling you all right so subscriber shout out goes to the digital asset soldier thanks man for you know the sub and supporting this channel i appreciate you you're you're blessed, and I, I appreciate you even, you know, giving me a thought on this channel and uh, supporting, all right? Uh, here we go at number three. So, XRP researcher, XRP investor re, uh, tweeted this out. Breaking news, almost every bank in Japan is starting to work with XRP. Mitsubishi UFJ Japan which is a the the tenth largest bank in Japan and in the I mean tenth largest bank in the world, in a, at a big number of one hundred and forty six billion dollars will run on XRP. So in the article, it was saying this uh, Japan banking community led by SBI Ripple Asia consists of sixty one banks covering more than 80% of Japan's bank assets. MoneyTap will have the potential to provide on-demand payments to most parts of Japan through Japan banking community. Then it continues saying SBI Ripple Asia is pushing forward and they are pushing forward hard. 61 Japanese banks which cover more than 80%, which is a huge number, 80% of Japanese banking Assets is one of the biggest partners that Ripple has. What is the 10th largest bank in the world? Mitsubishi UFJ Japan. So, good news. That's pretty, very, that's very bullish news for XRP. Even though the charts don't really reflect it, which we will get there soon. Um, it's safe to say that XRP has a bright future when it comes to uh, the payment system of the world which is a big problem of today that we'll be solving so I believe XRP will dominate in that area so looking at the top performing cryptos of 2019 this is a tweet from TradingView a uh, trading platform which I trade off of they have a lot of data that they put on there for you to look at when it comes to looking at your favorite digital asset or uh, fiat or stock or whatever you want to look at but top five performing cryptocurrencies of 2019 this is the last last updated on december 20th coming at number five ripple credit network 
with a gain of 299.44%. Then at number four, Therion, which made a gain of 310.38%. And at number three, Centralidity, which came in at 326.53%. Number two, chain link at a grand of a grand total of 560.33% and at number 1 the best performing digital assets or cryptocurrency for 2019 is constellation with a return on investment of 651 651.09%. So Wow, these digital assets are killing it. If you're uh, invested in it, let me know. In any of them, let me know in the descriptions and what you think about what you, uh, which cryptocurrency is going to perform the best next year. All right, here's something that I posted: the digital asset race theory. So, I always thought that you know, what's the point of having multiple cryptocurrencies? Because people are so um let's say people like convenience people like things very easy and to get things done very fast so this is a theory that i came up with and i uh, put a poll out on twitter i said what if i said there was only one only only <laughs> my bad I'm, I'm sorry i'm here my niece running through the hallway it's her birthday today she's excited uh so I said, what if I said there would only be one cryptocurrency less standing and the evidence was left in plain sight, but we failed and missed small details in a historical lesson on a race to the top. Would you believe it? Retweet for more thoughts. So, and I hashtagged it. So 74 votes, you know, occurred and it was kind of obvious which one people were leaning more to so i just took the poll as is at this point uh and people said it's possible 54 percent people said it's possible and 46 percent people said not at all and you know here are thoughts of what people said uh crypto wendy oh she's a youtuber as well so she does Bitcoin and she's into other cryptocurrency assets. I'm not actually sure if she's an XRP fan, but I tagged her in this post anyway, just to get some thoughts. She said, I like stable coins, privacy coins, coins for building uh, gaming coins. Yes, there are about 4,800, uh, you know, on coin market cap and we don't need them all, but it's nice to have options, she said. I agree with that. It's nice to have options and you know having all these coins like why don't we just make a coin that does everything else which is what i think that they're looking for they're looking for the do it all coin and it would make more sense and be more convenient for a system a global system to run on one currency that's just my thoughts on that here's another thought um from alizan triple one uh I think David Schwartz said one day XRP could not do the job alone and there is a possibility that one day XLM or other ones might join the party. Good point. He did say that. He probably said that because there's no technology out there yet that is capable of doing every single thing that you know people do on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's pretty that's probably another reason why he said that uh david schwartz so that's you know up in the air um here is mark harry oh my my niece is going crazy out there mark harridge uh he said ripple ceo garling has expects 99 percent of crypto assets to disappear which would leave around 50 ultimately working products um okay well you know I, I think that he's on to something because Brad Garlinghouse is a smart man. He's not dumb by any means. 
he he probably knows what's coming, so he's just not speaking. He's just being humble and be like, yeah, we're going to be on top, you guys. <laughs> we already have a place to stay, so I'm not worried about all you other digital assets. Um, and here is a post uh, on the same issue. Load the XRP has said XRP to be the last standing, last man standing. And I believe XRP will be one of the last you know cryptocurrencies digital assets whatever you want to call it standing it will be it will definitely be up there um as far as anything else i'm not sure we just might have two uh you know assets in the end game but as far as projects are going right now it's hard to say um but you know we'll see what happens you never know in this space but to, to what we've been waiting for it's time to get on these charts and look at xrp and c and have an idea of where it's going in price in direction all right so looking at it off the daily time frame i marked three well four zones uh starting off with uh, where we're at currently we're in this purple zone which is you know this purple zone is just a ranging market um nothing too fancy to be said here we've just been ranging within this one candle for the last let's see one two three four five six seven eight ten days and so we're just ranging in this box here and nothing is really going on as far as breaking from this candle so we're ranging within this candle price um that's between let's see 18 cents and 377 and 19 cents and 765 so we've just been ranging between here nothing too big on that um if this blue zone is our kijensen area which is flat which is showing that the market is you know in a range whenever you see kijensen go flat market is ranging nothing really pointing down nothing really pointing up um there's no momentum it's just a flat market and so the best option is to look at it on the lower time frames uh this green zone uh, i'm gonna compare these two in a minute we do need to break out this purple zone to you know you know break or to retest you know this level at kijensen the blue zone if we could get above the purple and the blue zone uh our green zone anything above this green zone is bullish uh nothing too special for xrp until we get past 23 cents once we get past 23 cents then i'll start being very bullish so this is the bullish zone um this was our lowest point for the year so far this red zone here anything lower than 17 cents at the moment will put us back down to lower prices and i'm not sure why it's acting up all of a sudden but it is but anyway we're back um but looking at it um i don't see nothing too big for xrp at the moment as far as price moving higher um if you look at it with the you know the r3 r uh rci you know trend has been down and we're below negative 80 so trend is pushing us even lower uh it's rejected at the you know zero mark so price is definitely pushing down this was our signal pushing us even lower uh looking at it on the four hour time frame let's take a look trend is coming down even though the signal's coming up once we get a break at break below this uh positive 80 then trend will continue to the downside um let's take a look at the chart on the four hour so i have it coming up to this point this is going to be our this is our this purple these purple lines here is the range that we've been in uh for the last 10 or so days um looking at it here we do have resistance coming up which is why i have it coming down 
once we get to around this area there's not really much signs of it showing that we want to move even higher um, looking at it on the one hour time frame let's take a look it looks like it's starting to move lose some momentum Keatinson's not angled it's still at an angle but it's not as a at a sharp angle as it once was before like you see back here or here or even in here it's just starting to flatten out so we are losing some momentum to the upside so i see that if you i put a line here at this flat cloud area this is going to be a resistance right now excuse me and you see that it's already making its way down if we get in a little bit closer we see that uh, this candle made a inverted hammer a hammer actually at resistance which is a strong sign for uh, market to move even lower so prices will be dropping it might be dropping even now currently um, looking at it here uh, mo it did show that momentum was coming up to the upside if we could get a break above the 80 line here in the next couple hours or next four or five hours um, then we'll see if price could continue to the upside right now I'm still very bearish the four hour time frame in the daily speak volumes uh, according to that um, if we continue if we get a bounce or at a bounce to the downside with this signal line um, I don't think price will make it any higher for the short term uh, the highest I do see it go up to let's go back out if we do manage to get higher uh, 19 and 19 cents and 762 is where I see it getting up to um, and then in this area will revert to the downside um, that's what I see right now looking at it one more time frame lower let's take a look this 15 minute chart is going to play a crucial role as you see here already if entry is going to be found on the 15 minute if you're going to play this game um i was explaining off here so like i was saying if we could stay above this for the next four hours or so or next four to five hours or so without this breaking lower breaking underneath the positive 80 then we have we have major potential to move to the upside which will be very good for xrp and take us to higher prices as i said as long as this stays above positive 80 it's uh it's a buying opportunity on the lower time frame um we'll see what happens here if it you know continues to you no know, go underneath the negative 80 the signal line but right now i don't see uh xrp going any higher than this for now it's looking very you know it's not looking too pretty for xrp right now even on the higher time frames um one thing i do want to say is if we do manage to get out this box though uh, i do see us getting back into this blue zone to test and even if it does get back in here it's going to come back down to test the breakout anyway so i'm not going to be too you know bullish until we get past 23 cents that's just my bias for this market. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this technical analysis. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on different uh, on the things we talked about in this video today. And I hope you guys enjoyed this content. All right. God bless you guys and peace.